Death Sergeant, no rep here, the greatest judge to never judge, the one-time CrossFit Games attendee, and I am here underneath the bleachers as all the athletes are around me signing in, getting their new gear, getting their new nanos. Oh, I'm just here chilling. Anyway, I haven't got my delivery of my CrossFit uh, nanos yet or any of my games gear, but anyway, we have more important news. The events for the teens and the masters for the first two days have been announced. Now, the masters and the teens don't follow the exact same schedule as the individuals, so they won't have an event on Thursday, so their first day of competition is uh, Friday. Now, also, um, there's been some weird videos put up on Castro's uh, Instagram and some other um, of the demo teams of them playing basketball. Now, is that just uh, past the time, or is there going to be a basketball event this year? I don't think so, but you never know. So, let's look into the, um, the teens and the master events that are announced. So, Starting on Friday, we have uh, the Row Burpee event, which I really enjoy. Uh, I wouldn't enjoy doing it, but uh, it's four time, uh, 500 meter row, and 30 bar facing burpee. So that's just going to be give it your all. Um, won't last too long. Uh, who has that that high rev engine? Who can do? Perform the best of this. The 55 plus divisions will not be performing this event. So then next we have on Friday as well. Uh, we have the two ropes, it's called. So five rounds for time, three rope climbs, 15 front squats, and 60 double unders. The weight's actually quite uh, quite light uh, for this one. So we have 75 and 115 pounds uh, for that. So that will be another really good um, really good event. So then it looks like there's going to be one more uh, event later in the day. It says to be announced. Um, maybe cap off the evening so we don't know what that is. So on um, Friday for the teens and the masters we have uh, the sandbag triplets. So sandbags always suck. So we have a six or a 90 foot handstand walk. Uh, we have calories on the air bike. Uh, then we also have a 90 foot sandbag carry. So I'm assuming uh, this will be outside on the field. Um, it'd be really interesting if there was like actually like Two years ago, when they had, or it was last year, they had the obstacle course with the sand. It'd be cool if you're doing a sandbag carry through sand. That would really suck. Um, so that's the sandbag triplet. Um, and the, as you can see down below there, like the 14, 15 year olds, the 55, 59s, they all do like a modified uh, version of that. So basically, the sandbag is lighter. So you'll note that for the uh, the 16 to 17 year olds and 35 to 54 year olds, uh, the female and males, the sandbags are quite heavy. They're 140 pounds and 200 pounds respectively. So then we have the down and back chipper. You always love a good chipper. So for the 16 and 17 year olds and 35 to 49 year old division, you have an 800 meter run, 30 handstand push ups, 30 uh, dumbbell thrusters, that's not too bad, what's the weight that those, uh, 20 and, buh, 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 I think 30, 20 and 30 pounds, so 30 power cleans, um, 30 box jumps over, uh, 30 dumbbell thrusters, 30 handstand push-ups, 800 meter runs to cap it off, um, and the the cleans are at 125 and 185. So nothing crazy heavy here. So something that this would be a fast event for a chipper. Um, not a long distance for the run. Handstand push-up people will bust through those. Those thrusters shouldn't be too bad. The box jumps over. The cleans aren't too bad as well. So that uh, wraps up uh, for Saturday and then Sunday. So for the finals and stuff, we don't have any events for that. Um, and you can go to the CrossFit Games to have a little more detail. Um, as you can see here, they, they start to go through some of the events. But uh, I really like this. This is, uh, I think, a really good start um, for the CrossFit Games, the events. Now, a lot of times we'll see that uh, Castro, when he's designing his master plan, that there's some type of theme throughout. So you'll see maybe a variation of these type ones for uh, the individuals. Now, tonight... Uh, the individuals had their athlete dinner. Now, usually in the past, Castro would come out, uh, like he'd invite, announce like the bike event or something like that. He'd usually give the details for the event. Uh, that did not happen tonight. Um, it's going to be announced later at another date, apparently. So I'm assuming um, 
it's going to be first thing in the morning before the event. I, I can't see it right now at night time, so it looks like you're going to go into event one where 50% of the field is cut down um, without knowing the event. It's going to be announced beforehand. That's my assumption. I'll be interested to see. Leave a comment down below what you think of these uh, workouts. Do you think that these will leak over into the individuals or the individuals will be totally different? If you could please give me a like and subscribe. Uh, remember, I'm doing a live feed for the games. You'll be able to see that here. And uh, we'll chat with you later.